the White House plans to spend $300 million to improve mental health resources in our schools. So it comes just as many schools in our area will be opening back up next week. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley is here in the studio with a look at how the funding may impact Georgia. Joe. Hey, good evening to you, Ron. Governor Brian Kemp, you'll remember, signed the Mental Health Parity Act back in April. The law now in effect eases access to mental health care here in Georgia. The state also devoted millions of dollars to mental health care in the latest budget. And now more funding could bring much needed resources to the classroom. Georgia's school-based mental health program, APEX, works with more than 700 schools statewide. More than half are in rural areas. The state has budgeted $5.6 million to the program, and several schools will get mental health services for the first time this year. The White House announced Friday that it would allocate $300 million to expand mental health access. $140 million will go to develop a pipeline for mental health professionals and school-focused training. Another $140 million will go to increase the number of mental health providers in schools. This funding opportunity, I think, is going to help school districts, um, you know, with extra resources and training, just identification for staff members to be able to key into those things that students may be exhibiting but not able to express. Dr. Vassan Tinsley, interim superintendent of the DeKalb County School District, says she's heard from several students who have lost a family member or gone through tough financial changes. Shared the struggles that they had with anxiety, depression loneliness and you know the group of students that graduated last year that was the group that actually that their schooling was stopped abruptly. The CDC reports more than 40 percent of teens say they struggle with persistent feelings of sadness and the American Psychiatric Association found more than half of parents have concern over their child's mental well-being. In response the state is partnering with school districts and organizations like Resilient Georgia to alert schools and daycares if a child has trauma and provide trauma-informed care training for school staff. I think I want to see well-rounded students I want to see staff that has sensitivity to the needs of our students and community. And coming up at six, more on the connection between addressing mental health among students and staff, as well as students making better grades in the classroom. All right.